It is October and that means a new budget, a new month, and a new grocery haul. I cannot wait to show you what I picked up today. I have no idea how much I spent on it, so I will add that up as soon as I'm done recording the video. But I will kind of give you prices on certain things as we go through. So I do have some Walmart stuff. I'm feeding a big group of people. Some Ibotta deals, some coupon deals, and some bakery sales leading into the holidays deals that I had to stock up on. But before we get into that, I just have to show you guys my exercise pants. How cool are these? I got these for my last Wannable box. They are the brand K Deer and they are so bomb. You guys, these pants are so cool. Sometimes people compliment me on them, but if they don't, trust me, I know they're thinking it. <laughs> they're so, so cool. Okay, back to the groceries. Let's start over here with the freebie items. I had to pull my garden stuff because it froze the last couple of nights. I've got my grapes. I'm waiting for the green ones to kind of turn purple so I can juice them for jelly. One spaghetti squash, one zucchini, and here's all of the rest of the tomatoes for the year. Okay, jumping into Walmart, I spent 39 doll hairs at Walmart. Most, a lot of this stuff is for, I'm feeding the volleyball team before their home game tonight. I kind of got more than I normally would have. Uh, two gallons of milk, whipping cream. I got a bunch of tortillas, two of the corn. So this one is a cheaper price but they feel harder than this one, which is slightly more expensive, but they're very, very soft, which is why I got like two different brands. And then one of the huge thin style for grilled stuff burritos. Don't mind the book Ryan was reading just a second ago. If you haven't checked this book out for your kids, I highly recommend it. It's really fun. Dry onion soup mix. I'm gonna try and make like Salisbury steak out of my cube steak that I have in the freezer. So we're gonna, I found a recipe online, we're gonna try it. Some hot dog and hamburger buns. The hamburger buns are to go with the turkey burgers that I just picked up from Smith's in my last grocery haul. And I have some hot dogs from a long time ago that are still in the fridge. I just wanted to use them up so that we could do, you know, kid lunches or whatever with the hot dog buns. I'm kind of moving into stuff I need for the dinner. So I'm making like a baked pasta with salad and French bread. So these two loaves of French bread are for the volleyball team. This one's for us, cause I'm gonna do a double and our family is gonna eat one and then the team is gonna eat one. So this is for my family, this is for the girls. Lettuce, kale, cilantro, shredded carrots, uh, one cuke, some jalapenos, a red bell, some purple cabbage, avocados. These are not for tonight because clearly they're not ready to eat. Some yellow onions, did I say? One red onion. I have a salad, a special salad I'm gonna be making with some of these. And I already had the pasta. It's this kind, I have a bunch of these, so I'm gonna be using these red lentil rotinis for tonight. And I believe that's everything from Walmart. Again, Walmart was $39. Okay, coming over here, let's start at the top. So these are my Ibotta and coupon deals. Ibotta, there were a $3 off one Simply Playtex whatever, and these are $3.97, this kind. So I paid 97 cents a box for these two. Never a bad idea to stock up on the women items. I think it's Bienna chickpea snacks. This was totally free on Ibotta, 100% um, cash back. I got the regular salted last time and nobody in my family liked them. So I'm gonna try the honey roasted. I may be the one eating this. The RX nut butter, this was 60 cents back, which made this about half price. Uh, but I was trying to get a, there were two bonuses and I was trying to get the two bonuses for almost $30 in bonuses. So I was like, oh, I need to pick up one more thing. The Nivea was just a coupon. On coupons.com, there was a $2 off any Nivea and these are like $2.97. So I paid 97 cents each for the lotion. These, okay, yes, I know they're weird. <laughs> Let's talk about these. I haven't opened them yet. I don't know much about them. Oh, how much were these? I wanna say these are about $2.50 a bottle at my Walmart. I bought a had 75 cents back and Checkout 51 had a dollar back. So a dollar 75 back. So I think I paid right at 75 cents or a dollar. I'm totally forgetting how much they were originally, but I know I got a dollar 75 back off of each. This was on Ibotta, it was 75 cents back and these were only a dollar 40 something, 45, 48 at my store. So they came down to be less than 75 cents a jar, which is, Pretty stinking good. Uh, limit of five, so I grabbed five of these. Of course, these are gonna be going with my pasta and salad for the girls tonight. I'll probably use maybe two or three of them to make sure I have enough. So those are my Ibotta items. Let's talk about the chocolate chips, shall we? My local grocery store had the Food Club brand, 99 cents a bag when you bought in groups of eight. So I got 16 <laughs> bags at $16. 
and then the Nestle Toulouse. Nestle Toulouse. Sorry guys, I can't help but to put like TV quotes and movie quotes into my videos. And if you don't like it, then I don't think we can be friends in real life because I, I tend to drop those in real life also. <laughs> if I can put a friends clip in a video, I'm going to. I'm not even sorry. So these at my Albertsons were also 99 cents limited to, so I picked up the bittersweet chocolate. Haley likes really, really dark chocolate, and I thought if we did a bittersweet with like a white, they would kind of balance each other out of it. So I just got an assortment of peanut butter, semi-sweet, white, milk chocolate. Did I say peanut butter? Okay, total, I have 18 bags of multiple flavors of chocolate chips, which is great because in my pantry, I was really down to just like the specialty ones, like pumpkin flavor or peppermint flavor. Why the heck is Speedy barking? Oh my gosh. Were you locked in Haley's room? Oh my. So off the top of my head, I do know that the chocolate chips were $18, this was $39, and then I gotta figure this out, and then the bonuses I got back, the, um, in essence, these could all be free after the bonuses came through, so let's call that free, okay? So 39 plus 18, that's my total for today. I'll put it on the screen right here. And let's go over my meal plan for the next week. Here are my meals for the next, I'd say week and a half. There's eight dinners here, but we typically have leftovers. You know, two to three nights, I tend to make a lot. So tonight's the pasta and salad, the Salisbury steaks, of course, I talked about, the turkey burgers. Some of the salad items are for this a special quinoa, salad with some veggies. So I'm gonna just do drill, grilled chicken on the side with the quinoa salad. I've got the grilled stuffed burritos, enchiladas, chicken alfredo. I have everything I need for that. So I got the heavy whipping cream, a sausage, a jambalaya. I have the jambalaya mix from the last time I went to Louisiana and I've got sausage in the freezer, like kielbasa sausage. That covers, I'd say the next 10 days. Tell me what you guys are making. If you wanna see any of these recipes that I've never done a video for before, let me know if you would like to check that out. I might do one on the quinoa salad, it might be interesting. I, I do have a video on the chicken alfredo already, and I don't think you need one for the turkey burger, so just scroll the So yeah, these are my meals for the next 10 days. Here are my groceries for the next 10 days. And as far as snacks and things, I still have a ton of yogurt in the fridge. I cleaned my apple trees, like I think I mentioned that in another video. Oh my gosh, like laundry baskets full of apples that my kids are gonna be eating for snacks. That one and that one, these are my two apple trees. I actually just cut them back significantly, pruned them way, way back, but these are my two apple trees. Those are my grapes. I've been, like, I've been pulling all of my garden out because it all froze, and then all, those are all raspberries over there. Thanks for joining me today. You wanna see any of the grocery hauls I've done, go over here. And if you wanna see any recipes I've done, click on this side. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button down below, and hey, you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.